Ahoy everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert any image file into map art in Minecraft. On the Building Toronto project we use this a lot for these posters you see here at spawn as well as to add other details throughout the city. Uh, there are a number of tools online you can use to convert the images into the map format. I'm going to be showing you the one I prefer to use today. So to get started, I'll show you the image file we'll be using. We'll be using this uh, trains poster that I recently created for the project. In Minecraft, each map is 128 pixels by 128 pixels. And so when you want to create a poster or an image that is more than one block in size, you'll need to scale that up accordingly. So for instance, this poster that is uh, one block wide and two blocks tall is 128 pixels wide and 256 pixels tall and we can see that in Photoshop here. But you can just scale your pictures up and down as you needed to get them to fit nicely although the tool I'm going to show you today will do a little bit of that for you so you can just throw your pictures directly into it without having to edit them beforehand if you don't want to. And the tool I prefer to use uh, is at a website called mcmapdjfun.de. It's quite odd, but it's very bare bones, which is how I prefer it actually. It doesn't try to confuse you or give you too many options. It trusts you to know what you're doing. Um, so to get, I'll put this link to this also down in the video description also, so you can just go directly to it. But to get started, you go to this website, and then you'll see the step one is to select your image file. So I'll find the training poster that I exported from Photoshop. And then the next thing to do is to select the size that you want it to output. This is the size in blocks. So like if we wanted to have this image compressed down to only fit in a one block space, we could leave it at one one. However, I sized this poster so that it was a uh, two by one. So we're going to set the vertical height to be two blocks. And then after that, it's going to show us a preview of the colors. Um, this tool converts the map using, well, all of these tools convert images to maps by using Minecraft blocks to replicate what's in the image. So if you have really vibrant or neon or other certain colors that aren't represented in Minecraft very well, your image will look a little color shifted, but white, beige, and black are very easily represented in Minecraft, so you can see that it's going to look pretty much like our original. So we'll click Adjust Colors. And now the last step is we need to tell it how many maps already exist in our world because you don't, when you add this map to your world, you don't want it to overwrite any existing maps you have. So you want to just add a new one. So for instance, on the Building Crown Project, we have a lot of maps. So on the server, this map uh, is actually number 8,030, which we'll just use that again here for reference. But if you have 15 maps, then you'll put 15. If you have zero maps, you'll put zero. Um, but just for an example, I'll keep it at the 8,030. And we'll just click Create File. If your image is unnecessarily massive, this process could take quite a while, but our map art here is really tiny, so it goes almost instantly, and we will just click Download. And that will download this map underscore items file in this zip folder. So you can just come up, extract it, and then copy these. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the world file for wherever you're trying to put these in. Uh, we're going to put these today inside a single player world, for example. So we're going to go to our app data, our Minecraft, we'll find our saves, and let's put this in the uh, materialist world, we'll say. 
And so you'll open up the save file and then you want to go to data. And this is where Minecraft stores maps. You just wanna copy them in. These will be the only two in here because I haven't previously made any explorable maps or done any art for this world. So these will be the only two. But now that they're in the data folder, we can head back over to Minecraft. And if we head into our single player world that we just added the maps to, we can get them in the game. And now there's a vanilla Minecraft command to just simply give these to you. And so we'll run slash give uh, myself. And then what you're looking for is filled map. If you do uh, just normal map, that will give you the blank map like where you right click and it shows you everything. But if we run filled map, you can get any map that already exists. Uh, this also works if you need to duplicate maps quickly. Instead of having to go and find the item, you can also use this command to just duplicate them. But we'll do filled map and then we need to tell it exactly what map we're looking for. And so we'll do uh, a squiggly brace, then map, colon, and then our map number, 830. Or excuse me, 8030. And we'll run that. And you can see we now have the first top, the top section of our trains poster. If we come and run the command again, only this time doing 8031, we'll get the bottom half. And we can just go ahead and put these in our world. And that is how you can convert any image into map art very quickly in Minecraft. The process can take less than less than a couple minutes if you're not, well, of course, if you're not waiting to explain anything. Anyway, so I hope you've learned something, and I'll catch you all next time.